Hey guys, what's up? So it's been probably close to a year and a half since I've actually uploaded anything. And uh, not too long ago, probably a couple months ago now, uh, I made a post saying that I was just gonna update you guys. And I just got super sidetracked, of course. And also the car was having a lot of issues and I wanted to make sure the car was actually running to make this video. Um, so this is just gonna be a quick update on everything. Um, I don't know if I plan on getting back into YouTube or not at this point, but I just wanted to walk around the car, kind of update you guys on what's been going on. It's been a long time since you guys have seen it and what's been done to it. There's a lot of changes, obviously, just by looking at it. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, I'm still on the same exact stock uh, RB20. Um, back to stock turbo, um, still side mount intercooler. It was front mount for a little bit. It was RB25 turbo for a little bit. Um, a lot of that stuff broke and just wasn't reliable, so I went back to a completely stock setup. Um, the kit on the car now is not stock bumpers anymore. It's a full uh, Vertex style kit from Duraflex. It's their V-Speed line. Uh, right out of the box, this is right out of the box. I haven't done really any uh, hardcore trimming or filing. It fits really well. I mean, this is all zip ties, and as you can see, it fits like amazing, pretty much. For an $800 kit shipped to my door, it fits great. Um, still on stock brakes, this painted up yellow. Still on the same R33 wheels. Running a different tire combo now. I'm 21540 up front and 22545 in the rear. Uh, interior is totally different as well for the most part. I now have two bride low max seats. Um, on Street Faction rails. I have a full cage now by Cusco. It's a full full cage. It's even got like an X brace. No back seats right now, but I do plan on putting them uh, back in. I just have some right now. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, quick release now. Uh, still got the same Nardi. Gauges are pretty much all the same. Uh, interiors, for the most part, is pretty much stock. Motor is really nothing special. It's just a stock RB20. I think a lot of you guys have seen that before. Still on the stock LSD, amazingly. Um, this car has probably 30 drift events on it at this point, and it still locks up great. It kind of makes me question if it's even a stock LSD um, at this point. It might have been uh, upgraded to something in Japan, and I was just never never told or something. I'm not sure. Um, the exhaust is just a custom-made unit from a local exhaust shop. It's like a four and a half inch tip, it's a big boy. Um, but the rest of the exhaust is just three inch. Uh, suspension wise, rear subframe is stock, just um, camber arms. And the front suspension is S13 lower control arms now, uh, with extended, they're also extended 30 mil. So you can see I got some a little bit of camber now in the front. It's got pretty good fitment, ignore the bumper gap right there. I painted my headlights black too, the housing. So I took them all apart and uh, painted them black. Still running the semi-clear turn signals. Uh, it's got GK Tech mirrors right now. I do plan on going back to stock. I also do plan on making videos on maybe making my own mirrors. That's kind of something I've been looking into a lot recently. Um, overall, the car's been running great. Um, I did blow the head gasket on it recently. So I've definitely been careful with it. It is actually, I lied. I lied to you guys. It is ARP head studs now. So it's ARP head studs, Nissan OEM head gasket, and um, that's it pretty much. No cams, I had to make cams for a little bit too. Sold those. Um, just back to a stock setup right now because at the moment, this is my only car. So I've definitely been uh, questioning like what kind of mods and stuff I choose because I want to be able to drive it every single day. Oh, something happened. Ah, uh, I wanted to shut off here for a reason. Uh, I've been chasing a boost leak lately. Um, so let's see here. Everything looks okay. There we go. Oh, uh, I have this cool blitz boost gauge with the carbon thing now. I'll just away in case it does want to get hot on me. I'll be able to know. And you guys can hear me a little bit better. Hopefully the wind noise is okay. I did make my own clear taillights as well. Um, they do light up red at night. Don't know if you'll be able to see that. I think one of my bulbs is out. Yeah, here you go. You can see. So as you can see, um, clear tails. Uh, if you guys want me to, I can put a video up on how I made those. Uh, they're pretty cool, pretty simple. Like cost me legit probably 15, 20 bucks to make those. I just bought a Dremel and some uh, random material that they're made out of. Uh, 
I'm trying to think what else. Not much else has changed. Just been driving it a lot. Um, unfortunately, the Speedo broke um, because at the track one day, the Speedo gear fell out of the transmission because there's just a single 10 millimeter bolt that holds it on. And they tend to wiggle loose if you don't have the locking tab on them. So that fell out and I probably lost about a quarter of training fluid. So I just finished the rest of the day with no Speedo and I just haven't been able to replace it since because it's a mechanical unit. Uh, I've been finding a lot of later ones like R33s and S14s use an electronic unit. Um, but I've been looking for a mechanical one that's not ridiculously priced. I'm not looking for a brand new one either. Not really at any point. Anyways, yeah, but the, what I meant was the mileage isn't as accurate as I wish it was. I probably put 30, 40,000 miles on this car uh, just by me over the last three years now of ownership. And uh, I love it. It's great. Let's do one more walk around. It's pretty low, to be honest. I want to go lower in the rear. The front's perfect for me. Uh, the rear, I kind of wish I could tuck a little bit more tire. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Um, one more major thing as well is I actually, some of my OG subscribers, uh, they know that I live in Ohio. I don't live in Ohio anymore at all. I live in Texas now. I'm in San Antonio. So ignore the yellow. I know you guys can see that. That's uh, going to get changed hopefully or finished with the rest of the car. I have yellow calipers right now. I think that flows pretty well with the red to be honest. Um, yeah, but I live in Texas now. So the heat's killing me. Uh, I need to get the AC in this working. Um, I broke the idler pulley a long time ago in Ohio. I just had no really intention to, to fix it because it never got that hot. Uh, since I moved though, um, it's been ridiculously warm. So I've been kind of messing with that, but I'm getting a, a weird code for the AC unit. I'm getting like a negative 26, which has something to do with the, the doors that lets cold air and hot air in. It's faulty, but uh, i trying to think what else. Um, I don't know if you, there's actually a dent on the fender now, well, a couple dents right there. That kind of sucks. Um, that was my fault, just from pulling the motor and the tranny, like uh, swung around and it hit the stupid fender. I have uh, fiberglass fenders at home, but I don't know, they don't fit that well. And I would have to run more spacers up front. I'm running, actually up front, I'll show you how the spacers are running. Is this a uh, GK Tech 15 mil, so a bolt-on, but a very small bolt-on. It has extended studs on it. Um, so that we, if you want to, you can stack the slip on spacers on top. So I always have that option. Um, I'm not sure, I, my roof, I've never painted my roof still, as long as you guys know, this is like OG since the day I bought the car, roof's all faded still. Um, it doesn't really bug me. It's kind of like patina, I guess, right? Maybe in 20, 30 years, I'll just clear it and it'll look cool. Um, yeah, overall the car's been super reliable. Just chasing like little tiny boost leaks and stuff. Uh, I hate those GK Tech mirrors. See, they, they point up. That's the biggest issue. Um, I really hope the wind noise is okay. But anyways, I figured I'd just update you guys. I know I've been rambling for a couple minutes, but I usually forget things and then I, I can't include them later. Because I'm trying to do this all in one cut. So hopefully this all goes smoothly and I can just upload this and then move on. So if you guys want to see... Uh, actually, if you guys want to see like you know more updates and... Uh, more, I guess, just things with the car. I do plan on maybe just GoProing drift events and stuff, and then just uploading raw footage of me driving. Uh, that'd be cool too. So if you guys want to see some stuff, uh, let me know. Glad to be back. I ended up popping the hood for you guys just because uh, I want to show you a couple things. Okay, first of all, I found my huge ass boost leak on the way here. This coupler just popped off. It's super easy, but everything's super hot, of course. Um, as you can see, the engine bay is bright ass yellow. Um, I painted this when the motor was out of the car for the head gasket thinking I was going to paint the whole car yellow Which may still be a, be a possibility I'm not sure. I'm kind of uh, indecisive about this. I did did this like lowrider style catch can which is pretty cool I mounted that on the strut tower. It's really simple as you can see I cleaned up the intake manifold I cleaned up some of this piping. Um, this isn't the OEM piping But because when I went front mount I was dumb and I got rid of it So you can see there's still a hole here from when I was front mount um, I might go back to that, I'm not sure. I'm running S14 reservoir that's currently zip tied to the coilover. Uh, Nismo strut base, strut brace, stuff like that. Uh, stock map, stock basically everything. AC is back in the car. I don't know if you can see the condenser and the idler pulley. So I do have it, but I'm getting some codes as I told you guys. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to update you guys with the engine bay because it's bright ass yellow. 
it's actually pretty cool. I think it's a school bus yellow, to be honest. But if it had some pearl or some, some good clear on it, I think it would look really cool for the whole car. So, yeah.